Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to download a Google Web Story and turn it into an idea pin. You can use the same tutorial for turning your web stories into Facebook stories, Instagram stories, even reels. Um, you, know, you just need to tweak them kind of based on the format and the size and things like that. But for today, I'm going to show you how to turn them into idea pins. So the first thing that you want to do is edit or click the editor on the web story that you want to make the idea pin from. So I'm going to use this one. The first thing that you want to change is down here, you want to change it to grid view. And again, this is in the back end web stories editor. You want to select which slide you want to use. I recommend not using the title slide of your web story as the cover slide for your idea pin. This is preference, but there's also some strategy to this because since you're downloading these slides, the text is embedded into the slide. So for search purposes, I would have at least one slide in, especially an idea pin, that you're building or adding the text on Pinterest on the builder itself, just to help with search um, volume, search keywords, things like that. So once you're in this grid view, if you right click and you click save image as, I personally like to save it in as the number of the slide that I want it to be. So that will be my first idea pin. I'm going to click on the next slide. And you see this little blue block blue box around here. You want to make sure that it's highlighted before you save it. So we'll save it as two. And we'll save it as three. And just for this tutorial, I don't I know that you don't want to watch me build out an entire idea pen with all of these slides, but you could. Um, I'm just going to go with these couple of slides here. And then I'm also going to show you how I do this over on Pinterest. So I'm over here on Pinterest. Under the Save tab, if you click Add Idea Pen, we're, he we're here in the Idea Pen Builder. So we'll click Create New, and you'll click Upload, and then you see our slides here. We're going to upload the slides, and then you have them all here in your editor. Um, if you have any issues with size, I know that there's been a couple of things lately with the size in Pinterest. You can click on this canvas and you can change the size around. Um, I would leave it as the original for now until they come out or if they come out with additional best practices. Um, and then what I'm going to do over here is we're going to go back and I want to go to the actual link um, that this post or this story is about. And I want to show you why. I want to save an image to use as our cover image um, for our idea pin. So we'll just save it. We're going to add a cover image here. And you could have done this at once. It's just easier for me to kind of go back and forth. Um, and then what I am going to do is we're going to add a title here on Pinterest. This is where, um, like I said, adding some sort of built-in text or adding text in on the idea pin maker um, kind of comes into play. So let's see here. And you'll just add the title like that. Again, this is preference, but I do think that it helps it to show up in search. And then you have your slides here step by step you can preview it to see how it looks you may have to adjust your slides a little bit depending on how this preview looks if you have text over here um, you may want to adjust it a little bit and then what i like to do um, i have the link feature for my idea pins and i have a previous tutorial on how to see if you have that feature so i'm going to add kind of an end slide here that says Just kind of that call to action at the end, and then we're going to click done. You'll fill in the rest of your information here, um, but that's how you turn a web story into an idea pen.